Good day everyone and mabuhay. I am Jerome A. Tayao from BSIT 3D Group 1 and in this video I will present my final output in IT304 Web Systems and Technologies 1. So this system is called IMSRHU or Inventory Management System for Rural Health Unit. So all of my web page are in PHP file format except for my registration form for the staffs and uh, gallery. So the moment that you enter my website, you can see the login page. So in the login page, uh, we have the user must input the staff ID and the password. For the staff ID, it has a number input type because all of the staff ID, the admin ID, are in uh, number file format, the number type in my database. So for the password, it has a password input type. And for the submit, for the login button, we have the submit input type. So the moment that we click the sign up button, it will display an alert. It will display an alert that contact your admin to sign up because in this in this system, only the admin has the capability to uh, input or to create a new admin or new staff in the system. So click OK. So for the staff ID, I will just input 1111. And for the password, we will place an admin. So this uh, page, this sign, up, this sign up page is in PHP file format or page yeah php file format so we click the login so for the dashboard uh the dashboard shows all the all the products or all the medicines in our database and the list of staffs also in our database so in the crude this is the read because it reads the items in the database and display it in my website. So for the list of product, we have the product ID, product name, product description, manufacturer, product type, and the action. If we want to edit or update the medicine or the action to delete the medicine. So for example, we have here the trazodone or the antidepressant. We want to change the manufacturer or if the manufacturer of trazodone has changed so we will click the uh, update button or the edit button and we will put the product id the product type uh, let us say medicine ampule and the product name trazodone and the manufacturer we will change it to johnson and johnson and the uh, product description will be the same, antidepressant. So let us click the save, and it will prompt a it will prompt an alert that the product edited successfully. So click OK. And as we have, as we can see, the product manufacturer has been changed to Johnson and Johnson. So if we want to delete that. We can also click this uh, delete icon and it will prompt an alert as well that the product has been deleted successfully. So we can no longer see the trazodone here. So for the list of staffs, uh, it will also show the staff ID, the first name of the staff, the middle name, last name, contact number, birthday, address, gender, and email. So, this uh, dashboard is also in PHP format. So, for the announcement, let us click the announcement tab. So, for the announcement, I have here a um, canv uh, an iframe that is connected to my Canva and it will display the it will display a slideshow of announcement. So that's the example of the announcement. So to create an announcement, so this in this uh, in this part, I will create an announcement. For example, um, I will I will create an announcement code. I 
So this is in text uh, input field. All of these are in text are in text input field. So let us say we have a memo. So um, an announcement content. Let us say please wear red shirt on when Wednesdays. So let us click the submit and it will create an uh, information and after that so we it we can also uh, see or the the website displayed the announcement from our database so we have here an example of a mandate press release administrative order uh, another mandate as well and our newly created memo with it, which is to wear red t-shirt on Wednesdays. So that's all for the announcement. Let us move on to the date. So in this part, uh, this is where we input the manufacturing date, the expiration date, the shipment date, and the product date of the medicines. So all of this are in uh, date input type and in my database as well all of them are in uh, date input type so in the crude method this is in uh, the create create part and uh, the the file format for this date is uh, php as well so next one is the inventory so for the inventory we can um create the quantity of we can list the quantity of the product in our inventory so we can put uh input type that is in text and uh product quantity it has, that is in number the quantity or how many the medicine is and the product type as well so yeah so the for the product id so this is for the create this is for the read it will display all the uh, uh, product id the medicine the quantity the product type and the action as well so we can also uh, edit it or delete it so for example for the product id number 9349934898 so it has some um, 324 medicine si medicine syrup so let us edit that let us put the 93934 the product quantity let us update it to 1 and the product type it is a medicine syrup let us save it so the product has been edited successfully so we can see that it that it has been updated to a one product quantity so if we want to delete it we just need to click the uh, delete icon and the product deleted successfully so for the product so this inventory uh, inventory tab is in PHP file format as well. So for the product, uh, it uh, it allows us to input another product that that is another product that we have seen in the dashboard. So uh, it has for the product ID, it has um, uh, number input type. And for the product name, a text, text at text at text as well for the product type, for the product manufacturer, and for the product description. And we have the submit for submit button for the submit submit input type for the submit. So that's all for the uh, product tab, which is in PHP as well. So for the next one, we have the gallery. So I, as I have mentioned a while ago, the, the it has 
the, my gallery is in iframe so uh this part of the gallery uh, this part of the gallery is in html but this whole page is made with php so first in the gallery uh we can see the uh, slideshow of some of the services offered by the rural health unit and we have here a video of the groundbreaking ceremony of rural health unit in our municipality and uh, in the bottom part we have the family planning immunization and other uh, services offered by the rural health unit so let us proceed now to the add new staff again as i have mentioned a while ago the this is an iframe so this part of the this part th this registration form is in html file format while the gen the whole page is in php so uh for the um for the new staff page so we have here a uh, form that lets the user to create that that lets the admin to create a new style so the admin will uh, input the name the middle name and the last name so all of these are in text input type and the admin will also input the birthday which is in date input type the gender which is in uh, text input type Staff ID in uh, number input type and contact number in num contact number in number uh, input type as well. So for the address, uh, it has a text input type, and for the email, it has a uh, email input type and password password as well password input type and for the confirm password. So for the reset. It has uh, a reset input type and for the submit, uh, submit input type as well. So, next one is for the contact us. For the contact us, it is uh, um, in PHP file format as well. And uh, it will display the map where the RHU is located using an iframe. Uh, that is connected to the Google Maps. So this is where our RHU is located. So it will also display some basic information about the rural health unit and the contact number for COVID hotline and a vaccine hotline. So for the about us, the about us type is in PHP fire php file format as well and um, it will display our the picture of the developer and uh, some information about them so that so these are my group mates and if we click the logout button so the logout button is here it will redirect us back to the login page so that's all for the a presentation of my website so let us click the log out and it back to login.php so at this juncture i will present the database used in my web page so for the ims admin let us check the ims admin so for the ims admin it has uh, this table where it contains the id the first name the last name contact number birthday gender address email number and the passwords so let us check the structure so for the uh for the uh staff num for the staff id or the admin ID, it has a uh, data type of integer for the name, the middle name, and the last name. For the first name, middle name, and last name, it has a text input type. 
for the contact number it has a big integer and uh, for the birthday it has a date and for the gender address email passwords is all of them are in a text input type so for the ims underscore announce so we have uh, we have here the code and the uh, uh, announcement type and the content. So let us see the structure of the announcements. For the announcement code and for the announcement type, it it's all in a text uh, text type text data type and for the content uh, I put long text because for the announcement uh, it sometimes has a long text so I put it as long text uh, for the date we have here the uh, date the expiry date, shipment date, and product date. So if we see the structure, it has a manufacturing date. So all of them are in date data type. Next one is for I for the gallery. So the gallery has a no uh, has no records yet, but it displays the uh, the product gallery and the staff gallery and general gallery. So next one is uh, next one is the inventory so uh, it records the product ID product quantity and product type for the structure for the structure the product ID and the product type is in text while the product quantity is in integer so for the product for the IMS product so it has the uh, product ID, product name, product description, manufacturer, and product type for the structure. So product ID has uh, an, an integer data type and the rest is in text data type such as the uh, product name, description, manufacturer, and product type. For the uh, IMS type, so it displays it displays a staff ID, middle name, last name, uh, staff name, contact number, birthday, gender, address, the passwords, and the email. So that's all for my uh, database. And that's all for my presentation of my final project. Thank you for watching.